doing this mock interview. This is the DevOps mock interview day 69. We already completed 68 mock interviews. Whoever watching this video on YouTube, if you want to check that mock interviews, go to playlist section. There you can find uh, all mock interviews. Please like this video so that uh, we will move into these mocks. Uh, yeah, hi Swapna, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Swapna Tirke. Uh, I have Don't reveal your genuine information. Uh, okay. Don't reveal any genuine your company or whatever it may be. Okay, you can mention X or whatever it may be. Okay. okay. Yes. I have total 3.5 years of experience. Throughout my career, I have worked in uh, DevOps tool like uh, Git, uh, Git for uh, to me um, to control uh, for the control version control system. And after that, we have used Jenkins uh, to uh, uh, build the CICD pipeline throughout the uh, code uh, throughout the deployment and uh, building the code. Uh, after that, we have used Docker to uh, con for the containerization and uh, Kubernetes uh, to uh, orchestration that orchestrate that containers. And uh, after that, we have used um, Prometheus and Grafana to monitoring the instance. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. There are multiple lags and there is confidence is missing. I know this is the first mock interview. Definitely no one will perform right. So definitely we're going to improve. So attend multiple mocks. Slowly, slowly you will definitely rock the interviews. But yeah, definitely I will share you the script as well. So practice it in front of mirror. Okay, not don't read it okay when attending mocks okay for the first few mocks it's okay you can read by seeing but uh, slowly if you practice right without seeing you need to able to give the introduction right even in the if you watch movies they will directly perform in front of camera like how they are going to perform right they they need to complete it in one or two shots right if not nearly thousands of people will work their time will be wasted so because they will do hard work right in back end they they will give an script of multiple xerox papers they will practice it then in front of mirror they will able to perform as expectation this is the back end which process which will happen which we don't know so in the same way for your interview also in the back end you need to do it people will direct, right practice it right they will become perfect in devops but they don't know how to deliver obviously if you don't market yourself even if you are expert who will hire you no one will hire you so at, at the same time when you are practicing you need to work on your presentation skill as well So yeah, hi Saitesh, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hi Pawan, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can able to hear you. Yeah, hi, good evening all. Uh, myself, I am Saitesh. <coughs> I'm having three years of experience as a DevOps engineer. I'm having good experience of working with various DevOps tools like Git, Jenkins, Docker, Kubernetes, Ansible, Terraform. I have experience of writing Jenkins files of a CCC automation. That includes automating stuff from build to deployment. And I have experience of writing Docker files to, to create Docker images and doing containerization of applications and then deploying them into Kubernetes cluster. I do write various manifest files uh, that are required for the applications uh, for the Kubernetes cluster. Uh, majorly, I was into monitoring the running applications in Kubernetes and making sure that they are continuously up and running in cluster for the clients who are accessing it. Uh, this is what I have been to my experiences in DevOps engineer. Okay. Yeah, it was good. Still, you need to improve. Yeah. So, probably. Sapna, you you have checked it, right? So, how he performed. So, just observe and uh, you can learn. So, Rahiman, do you want to try? Your introduction, don't reveal your genuine 
right company or whatever it may be you can try okay sir <clears throat> Don't worry, I will provide you script. But right now, just try on your own. Sure, sir. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity. My name is Iskay Rahim, a DevOps engineering with two years experience, current working at X company in Atlas City, Hyderabad. My skills including extensive expertise in AWS, but cloud infrastructure management and Git version control, and well version continuous integration. Deployment using the Jenkins along with build automate through the Maven. I have a experience support quality like security tools, Monarch Cube, and JFrog, as well as configuration management using Ansible. In the containerization, I work with the Docker and Kubernetes for orchestration scaling application. My profession in infrastructure as a code demonstrated through my use of Terraform, additional and shell scripting, automate task, and utilize Chromos Grafana. And monitoring and visualizations. That's it, sir. Yeah, Raymond. So, what are the introduction you have given? Uh, you have the the whatever you are telling. It was good, but you are missing multiple words. You are you are writing some words. <coughs> the word element is also not good. Okay, and I can say that uh, you are. just uh, just watched the mock interviews of mine okay you have collected some points and you were just repeating the same points right okay so you just watched my multiple mock interviews after of that you have seen one right one candidate's mock interview you just copy pasted that so you should not do that according to your Tone, you need to tell. Sure, sir. Okay. So whatever the introduction you delivered, right? It, it, I can genuinely say that it was too much worst because it is not not matching to you. So you need to completely change your introduction. If you like tell like this, right? definitely they even not schedule an interview in the first uh, hr right in the in the starting itself they will ignore i might be right sometimes rude but don't take it in a negative negative way so mahesh can you please introduce yourself Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. I'm Mahesh. I'm from Hyderabad. Yeah. Coming to my professional experience, I am working in uh, one of the MNC with uh, three years of experience. My experience involves in uh, uh, Linux operating system, DevOps, and AWS uh, cloud environment. Yeah, I have started my career uh, as an associate level while working in a Linux operating system. With that knowledge, I have built some shell script uh, for uh, automatic uh, tasks, uh, which is a regular task which we are doing in our environment. With that, uh, I have got a chance internally when to work in a cloud and DevOps environment, where I have started my DevOps engineer journey. Coming to my uh, AWS concepts, I have worked with more a lot, lot of services. With this, I have worked on EC2, S3 buckets, RDS, DynamoDB, EKS, and uh, auto scaling, load balancing. Much more services I have worked on. Still, I am trying to learn more services. I am very much enthusiastic to work with more AWS services, which is going to be released in future by AWS. Coming to the DevOps, I have uh, much more knowledge on Git version control system and Jenkins CI/CD pipeline, where all our builds going to be run in a daily basis. We have integrated so many tools to our uh, Jenkins pipeline to deliver the quality software to our clients. With this, I have we have integrated Sonar Cube for uh, static code uh, analysis and Nexus for artifact repository and. when it comes to the infrastructure provisioning i have good knowledge and uh, experience in uh, terraform 
for provisioning the whole infrastructure by uh, in AWS in, in environment. And when it comes to the uh, configuration management, I have good knowledge on Ansible. When it comes to my deployment uh, strategies, I have worked on Docker and Kubernetes for orchestration. Docker is for containerization. Yeah, finally, the monitoring part. Uh, the, however, we build the application, we need to be have a best monitoring uh, so that end user is not going to be face any issues. When it comes to our environment, we have uh, uh, integrated Prometheus and Grafana for uh, monitoring metrics and uh, ELK uh, Elastic Log Stack Kibana for log management. Yeah, these are the tools which I have worked as a DevOps engineer. I'm grateful to work with your team or projects if I got an opportunity in your organization as a DevOps role. Thank you. Yeah, Mahesh, everything is good, but don't uh, make too much long introduction, okay? Because no one was interested uh, right in you. They just want to test your technical skills. Okay, They just ask you introduction to check how you are communicating, the way of communication. Because if, if they selected you in some situation, you need to communicate with clients. At that time, communication is very important. So for testing only for that purpose, they will ask introduction. So complete the introduction part in two to three minutes. Don't make it uh, right. The opposite person will get bored because they will take multiple interviews in right. Some people will have hectic schedule of, of taking interviews. Yes, yes. Okay. So let, let me introduce myself. Thank you so much uh, for having me today. I have over six years of experience in the IT industry with a strong foundation in Linux administration, cloud engineering, and the DevOps. I began my career as a Linux administrator where I developed a solid understanding and system management. And that too, I have done automations as well. About a year into my career, I transitioned into a cloud engineering, gained hands-on experience with various platforms and services. From the past four years, I have become expert in DevOps, focusing on tools and practices. My expertise includes Git for version control system, continuous integration delivery with Jenkins, continuation with Docker and orchestration with Kubernetes. Additionally, I have experience with infrastructure as a code using Terraform and configuration management with uh, Ansible. Coming to cloud, I am proficient in AWS services like uh, EC2, S3, VPC and IAM, uh, which allowed me to design and manage scalable secure cloud architectures effectively. Uh, thank you so much uh, for giving me an opportunity. That's it. I'm done myself. Anisiti, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, thank you for giving the opportunity. I'm Anisiti, a DevOps engineer with five years of experience, currently working X company in Hyderabad. My skill set, including extensive expertise in AWS for cloud infrastructure management and Git. For version control. I'm well version in continuous integration and continuous deployment using Jenkins along with build automation through Maven. I have experience with code quality and security tools like SonarCube and JFrog, as well configuration management using Ansible. In the realm of containerization, I work with Docker and Kubernetes for auto staging and scaling applications. So you are not audible. Is it same for Hello? all? Yes, yeah, yes. No, and no. Uh, I, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm getting another call and I just can. Okay, no. Yes, I can see. And uh, I work with Docker and Kubernetes for orchestration and scaling application. My proficiency in infrastructure as a code demonstrate my use of Terraform. Additional, I'm skilled in shell script to automate tasks and utilize Prometheus and Grafana for monitoring and visualization. My background equips me drive efficiency and reliable DevOps practices in any dynamic environment. That's it about myself. Okay. So, yeah, hi, DevOps. So, can you please introduce yourself 
Completely. No sir, actually I am outside. I can't speak because no, okay, no issues. Here. No issues. No issues. I I'm just happy. want to watch that's it only. That's the reason I I receive the call. Super, super. We will start the mock interview. I will share my screen. Okay, today will be very simple mock interview. Do you know how to create a user in Linux? Yeah, user add. Or add user. Okay, complete the wo or complete user. Okay. Add. User add uh, name. Add, um, name. Okay. How to set a password for a user? User uh, p uh, password uh, p a w w r d. Wrong. Anyone? P a s s w d. Yes. And the username. And the username, right? Yes, and the username. How to yes, delete a How to delete a user? User del and the username. How to switch to another user? Yes, you iPhone I. Uh, yes, you iPhone username. Okay. How to list all users on the system? I L S user. L S I minus I L. I am not asking you to list the files. I am asking you to list the users, all users. You can Google it, right? Okay. How to lock a user account? How to unlock a user account? By giving the password to the username, we can lock. Sorry. Password. I'm giving the pseudo password. I final username. P A S S W D. I find you and the username to unlock. It's pseudo. How to check the last login of a user? These are the very important commands. Okay, in day-to-day -day activities, you will do it. Last username. How to list users currently logged in? Just you want to check how many users have logged in right now. Get E N D. How to add a user to a group? Group add username. That's it. Pseudo user add. Pseudo pseudo pseudo. Pseudo. Pseudo user add name of the group. No. This one we already did in Docker installation. This is not a new. iPhone G, iPhone capital iPhone. I don't want to write. I want a complete command. Sir, pseudo not username. You the question and answers. Okay. Pseudo username minus AG uh, dollar user. No. <laughs> When we install Docker, after do installing Docker, at what I have executed? User mod iPhone A, iPhone G, the group name and the username. Yes. Sudo user mod iPhone A G. iPhone A, name. iPhone capital G, group hmm. name and the username. 
So how to ping a server? Do you know? Yeah, ping wherever we need to ping from source server to ping with the destination IP. How to check the listening ports? Next at iPhone LND. How to check the IP address of a server? Uh, IF config. IF config. IF config, sir. Yes. How to check network connectivity to a specific port? Tel by using telnet command. Telnet with that particular IP address, the destination with the port. How to trace the route of a to a server? How to configure a static IP? How to test DNS resolution? How to view current ARP entries? How to flush a DNS cache? How to check uh, the bandwidth usage? Shall we check the answers? Yes. yes. So, how to add a user? Sudo user add. Shall we try it? Yes, sir. So, sudo user add minus m. My username will be. Pushpa. Okay, how to check whether that user is uh, created or not? sudo cat at c p a s s w d. Yes, Pushpa created or not? Yes. Yes or no? So how to set a password for this Pushpa? sudo pswd PS, am, am I audible? Yes. Yes, yes. Sir, you are audible. Okay. So speak out. It, it is already visible, right? So I will give you a password as Pushpa. Retype password. Pushpa. Pushpa. Okay. How to delete the user? sudo user del minus r pushpa. User del not phone. Okay, it's removed, right? Yes or no? User got deleted. But yes. it, it has uh, given some error. You can ignore it. Okay, next. How to switch to another user? Okay, I want to go to root user. What is What I can do? SU minus root. I... So it will ask for a password. It will asking for a Ubuntu password. Okay, you cannot go to root. So, sudo. You can use add user as well, right? Add user. Mm. You tell me any name. Tell me any any of your name or any girlfriend name. Jenkins, sir. Okay. So now it is asking for a password, Jenkins. Now you type password Jenkins. Now so you see the difference, right? If you use add user, 
it will ask you for a user name along with the password but if you use user add okay if you add user directly it will ask for a password as well if you use user add then it will not going to ask you a password you need to set the password understood that is the difference between add user and the user add so you, add user is the best best one okay because right away it will ask for a password so how to list all users on the system so normally you can use hcpsswd but if you want to cut some entries then cut one slash hc slash passwd okay now i will sudo cat so just observe cut right first line yes or no f1 nothing but in the first line first word okay only it will display the username remaining all it will skip that's the meaning of cut okay just a moment i will attach a charger okay understood yes how to lock a user sudo user mod minus l jenkins okay sudo user mod minus l jenkins how to unlock a user to sudo user mod capital u okay lock nothing but capital l unlock nothing but capital u okay user mod use what is a full form of user mod okay user modified nothing but modify the user so how to check the last login of a user last jenkins right number 28 1504 okay this time zone is diff, uh, different okay date so it is a utc time zone what is the time zone of ours do you know anyone Asia. So UTC hours. IST. Yes. This is a simple basic thing. Who said IST? Me, Baron Saitich. Super. This is the basic things you need to know. For clients also, some um, time zones. If you don't know time zone, if a client asks you to schedule a right call so then you need to mention right if you don't know our time zone how you will tell hey i will be available at this time ist okay so how to list users currently logged in wh4 right ubuntu how to add a user to a group so sudo app update for that i will install one software then after i will do so what is the command add a user to a group sudo user mod iphone ag group name and the username so how to ping a server ping minus c4 nothing but Four ping four times and the address. Sudo apt install docker dot io minus y. I'm just installing docker. So is it okay, right? 
practical part or I can remove the practical part? No, it is open. Okay. Docker image LS. Permission denied while trying to connect to Docker daemon socket. Okay. I will increase the size. Now you can able to see, right? Yes. Permission denied. So if you see, this user doesn't have permissions to execute these commands. Now, sudo cat slash etc slash passwd. Sorry. Sudo cat sudo spelling wrong. So you can to user. So one task for you. How to see the groups in Linux? Can you able to anyone Google it and tell me? Group. How to see list the group in Linux? Cat etc group. Sudo cat etc group. So there is a Docker group or not? Yes. Yes. Now I need to add Ubuntu user to this Docker group. Okay. So that this uh, Ubuntu user will have permissions to execute Docker commands. If you see, if I enter Docker pull Jenkins or Nginx, permission denied because Ubuntu user doesn't have any permission. So what I can do, user mod, nothing but modify the user. Hyphen A capital G, nothing but add to a group Docker who you need to add you want to write sorry typo u b u and t u okay now i will execute docker pull nginx again it is doing permission to it because whenever you add something it will not be applied you need to reload it or you need to re-login okay now i will first Cat the group. Yes. You want to add it or not to this Docker group? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, added. Before there is before it, it was there or, or not? We got it now. Yeah. So shall we execute Docker commands now? Yes. working so whenever you get any error why that error is happening you need to troubleshoot to solving that error only comments are paying you a salary okay so next shall we move to next one so how to ping a server ping minus c4 google.com okay google.com ip address was 142.250.570.56 okay now i can able to ping google.com super next question how to check right listening ports sudo netstat minus t Minus T U L N Net stand net command net sudo net stat minus T U L N P because net you need to install net tools, okay. 
So whenever you get an error, what you can do? Just copy this. Right? Ask you to your friend. Treat this Google as a friend. Net start comment not found. Okay, go to the article. He will recommend you to install some software. Net tools. I told you, right? Net tools. Where is yeah? Yes. Just install this. Over. So now of you if you get a job, right? After returning multiple mobs, finally you, you crack it a job. So if you get an any error in real time, can you able to Google it now? Okay. Let's start T U L N. So I don't know what is this. So netstat is a command line network utility that display open network sockets routing <coughs> tables and network interfaces. So U is nothing but UDP. If not, I will just go to incognito tab. Chart GPT dot com. Please explain me about this in Linux. So T is nothing but it will display the TCP connections. U is nothing but it will display the UDP connections. L nothing but it will list the listening ports. Show only listening ports. N option causes netrust to show numeric address and port numbers rather than trying to resolve them. So putting it all together. Okay, he has given you the Okay. T nothing but TCP. U nothing but UDP. L list the listening port. N nothing but numeric. Okay. Understood. I will minimize this. Shall we go to next? How to check the IP address of a server? IP A D D or show. So here, what is the IP address? Tell me. I don't know which one we need to consider. There are multiple things. Which one is the IP address? Anyone? Am I audible? One shot. 172.31.15.17.20 No, you are wrong. This is the IP address, right? Who said? Me. Yeah, DevOps, no, you are wrong. This one is the IP address. No, the, there it will be showing it. 172.31.15. 17 you are private IP the same here also yes. no how you are telling this one any proof I'm audible. Yes, yes. So if you not uh, try, if not, uh, 
if tell if i don't know am i audible yes sir yes yes bro so this is the ip address because h0 and lvo is a two components which we will be having so which is a networking components h0 is the external right responsible for external traffic l0 is the internal traffic docker 0 is the right network which we will be created when you install docker so when you create a docker container how docker container will get an ip address via this driver okay in this range your container will get an ip addresses okay these are the basic networking concept if you don't know this it will be very difficult okay uh, i am not wasting your time right no no okay how to check network connectivity to a specific port so nc zv you need to give the address and the port how to trace the route to a server so shall we check the google.com trace route command not found oh how spelling is wrong right r o u t e so not found install the trace route okay done so can you able to explain this what has happened so trace route to google.com just a moment i'm i'm getting a call so whenever you execute trace route right it will just show you the routes okay so google.com cannot able right it will first communicate with the public ip address so from public ip address it will the traffic will go to do you know how this network communication will going to happen basic thing paint so this is my laptop okay my laptop will have some ip address yes or no so from my laptop whenever i hit something the traffic will go to the isp nothing but internet service provider so whoever the right internet service provider will have their okay network network socket or whatever it may be okay whenever you hit anything it will go to this isp from isp they will ping to their okay right then from there the request internet service provider to then google.com so the from google.com like this google.com will have some right directly you know, will not enter to google.com they will have some in between they have multiple things so like this the traffic will traffic will flow so in the back end these many things will happen in seconds okay that is the trace route will just queue okay using trace route it will just check the routes how the traffic is flowing understood okay yes so how to configure a static ip 
edit at c network slash interfaces on the Linux distribution. Okay. VA at c slash network slash inter or at c netstat dot yml just list at c sudo ls slash at c star dot y by no such file okay there's no ml files so this configuration file is sometimes you need to create okay you need to create the configuration files if it is not present so how to test the ns resolution ns lookup Sorry, unless you need to give the IP address, right? Let me give this. Yes, you are getting or not? this is the domain for this ip address okay understood so how to finish uh, like flush cache flush cache system sorry sudo system some Comments you will do, you don't know no need to know as well okay system day resolve iPhone iPhone plus cache so system day resolved is this system day resolve sometimes uh, the some comments will not be supported okay so how to check bandwidth usage sudo i think this one is also not work i think it will ask to install okay if top is also not found nothing but you need to install that okay so like this So that's it. Do you have any doubts? You don't need to know all these things. Okay, network administrator will know all this uh, traffics, right? DNS resolutions, everything. But as a DevOps engineer, you should know some basics. I will stop the recording.